My name is Dmitry Lipinski, this is Roofing Insights, and today I'm bringing you Roofing Insights 2020 Roofing Asphalt Shingles Guide. If you're the homeowner looking for the product to install on your roof, watch to the end because we will explain who makes the best and the worst shingles in the United States today. If you're the homeowner and doing your research looking for the best asphalt roofing shingles for your roof, watch to the end. We will explain who makes the best and the worst shingles and what to look for when you are in the market choosing your asphalt roofing shingle. Today we will be reviewing 8 shingles in 10 different categories. The shingles we're reviewing today, OC Duration, Tamco Heritage, Ico Dynasty, Malarkey Highlander, Certainty Landmark, Atlas Pinnacle, Pepco Premier, BP Vanguard. GF Timberline is not gonna be in this test. We just added them to the shingle manufacturer number nine because we know how many questions we're gonna get on this video, why GF is not included. GF, we're inviting you again. GF has been invited to this test, but we didn't get a response. So we are just gonna say not applicable in all categories. If GF replies to us and say, yes, please rate our shingles in your 10 categories. We're gonna do an update. We'll just run JF Timberline through all 10 tests and we'll give them our ra ranking. For the last three months, we've been comparing and testing shingles in 10 different categories. Number one, weight, nailing zone, pull test, coverage, uh, count and consistency of bundles, online reputation, granule loss, uh, contractors programs and education that brands are doing for the contractors, seal test, sealants, warranty, extended warranty, fails, class actions category. Then we're going to combine all the scores, give them total score and total placement in our chart. What we did different this year is we have switched to five star rating system, the most popular rating system in the universe on the internet. Uh, we pretty much look at every single category and uh, brainstorm what makes it five star for that category. Our objective here at Roofing Insights is to help manufacturers to produce five star roofing shingle or to get as close as possible to that five star mark. Now, not a single shingle made five stars in all 10 categories. Uh, most of them failed somewhere and have some weaknesses. Shingle who did overall really well in most categories, overall gonna get higher score. Overall, shingles were pretty consistent, but there's definitely been weaknesses and strength uh, in different categories for different brands. Let's go one by one. First, we compared all the shingles in the weight. Now, one thing what we wanna say about the weight, weight is not absolute criteria for shingles to be better. But here at Roofing Insights, we believe that uh, shingles also should not be paper thin. As a matter of fact, manufacturers who are saying that weight is not important and those manufacturers usually compare their shingles to computers, we don't agree with it because it's building material and building material is supposed to protect your house. It's supposed to be thick and durable and perform really well. Now, we're not saying that heavier always gonna be better, but what we are saying that we have to come up with a criteria or standard what considered to be better. So we have decided that heavier shingle will be considered better. Now, it's only better in one category. Heavy shingle still can uh, fail in all other categories and at the end have two star rating, but at least it was heavier. So we wanna give more credit to manufacturers who put more materials in their shingles, doesn't mean they're better, but in our chart, at least in this category, uh, their product is thicker, bigger, heavier. So Ica Dynasty, Certainty Landmark, Atlas Pinnacle definitely stood out. They're considerably heavier than their competitors. They're getting five stars. The rest of them got four. Uh, they also were very consistent. Usually uh, one square shingle weighed anywhere between 65 and 75 pounds. Some manufacturers make 78, close to 80 pounds. Those very heavy bundles. We think that heavier is better for the sake of the comparison. Second, we jump to nailing zone. The nailing zone is one of the most important aspects of roofing shingle. Why nailing zone is so important? Because it's easy way out for the manufacturer to deny the claim. So if manufacturers are producing um, shingles with a nailing zone that's hard to understand, easy to miss, 
in case of uh, roofing uh, shingles blow-offs, when manufacturers come out uh, to do warranty claims, uh, with our warranty departments, they look at the shingle and they say, well, you high nail here or you miss the nailing zone or you didn't go between these two lines and sometimes you don't see those lines. So it's a really easy way out. What we see in the industry, nailing zone actually have a connection to warranty issues because a lot of manufacturers, they just walk away from the warranties and blame installers for installing it not per their specifications. So we pay very close attention to those manufacturers who make it visible, who make it big, who make it pretty much bulletproof for installers um, not to make those mistakes during installation. So few players here who have a superior nailing zone is OC Duration with the Sure Nail technology, Ica Dynasty with their uh, reinforced strip on the back, uh, also Malarkey Highlander. But here's the results today. So we did many, many times. Uh, we did it at Expo last week and uh, the winner is OC and Ico. They go hand in hand. So we've seen it many times here at our studio, OC actually beat Ico by one. Like we just did it again, 71 versus 72. And what we were doing, we actually was doing uh, one foot section with the two nails on each side. And another thing what we was doing is we were using both common bond area and regular nail zone. And we have first three star rating here for Temco Heritage, one of the worst nailing zones I've seen. Very hard to understand, poorly made, and I would say overall uh, the worst nailing zone out of all uh, of the shingles that we've seen in the test. The rest of them got four stars. Next, we're going to pull test. We only have two five-star ratings here, Ica Dynasty and OC Duration. You probably have seen our videos uh, from f few months before. So those two shingles been uh, fighting each other at Expos. Do you have Ica Dynasty here? Do you what? Dynasty, your competitor? Uh, no, we don't have that one down here actually. Okay. They're not really a competitor. No. <laughs> 32. You just lost in your own game. What happened? A lot of roofers are using them in the sales pitches. You see Ico goes to different expos and showcases uh, Ico Dynasty. So Ico definitely with the Dynasty shingle it have improved their uh, shingle as far as the pull test goes and uh, goes head to head with OC Duration. We've seen OC Duration beat Ico Dynasty, but also we've seen Ico Dynasty beat OC Duration. But one thing for sure, they're better than all other shingles, so the rest of them are getting um, uh, four. Only two shingles here got three. It's BP and Temco. And again, uh, those two shingles were very, very easy to tear. The rest of them were somewhere decent, but Duration and Dynasty definitely stood up in a pull test. Next thing is coverage. Most roofers and most homeowners are seeing materials. And if you talk to the sales reps, usually people think that three bundles cover one square. Usually not the case. So some manufacturers, even with those three bundles, they don't cover one square. As a matter of fact, in our test here, only Malarkey Highlander and Ica Dynasty pretty much the closest to that one square. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about my, uh, Malarkey Highlander here because they're actually the only one who covers more than one square, just slightly but more, where Dynasty is like uh, 0.99 some change. Uh, some other manufacturers cover way less, uh, 0 0.96, 0 0.98. So they open about it, they talk about it, but we have to give credit to manufacturers who did do the change and make sure they have you know, true coverage because if they could do it, they were getting five stars and other manufacturers, in our humble opinion, should follow the lead. Uh, in our book, um, those uh, three, also Atlas Pinnacle, um, they're, they're also bigger shingles. They're 42 inch shingles. They're getting five stars. The rest of them are getting four. Next category is count per bundle and consistency of bundles. Not many roofers know, but a lot of bundles are not even. We usually think that all the bundles are the same, but if you ask manufacturers, count per bundles actually varies a lot. 
um, usually, usually, it takes about 64 shingles to cover one square. In case of malarkey, I mentioned earlier, they actually use 66. So in malarkey, and they're getting five star here, they use three bundles and each bundle has 22. Uh, but true coverage, um, to, to get that one square, that's why I said malarkey, it's actually exceeded that one square. Most manufacturers don't want to give you more. So math does not work for them with the size of the bundle. So some bundles will have 20, some bundles will have 22. So most manufacturers have that formula. They want to give you 64, but they don't know how to split it, uh, split it between the three because it just doesn't split. So what they do is, in the pallet, they would give you a few bundles that are 20 uh, count per bundle and few bundles that are 22. Overall, it's 64, the amount they needed to give you to get that 0.98 squares or 0.99, wherever they uh, promise you in the materials. Again, a lot of times it's less than one square. But imagine this, you finish in a job and you just short one or two bundles. A lot of times the reason you're short because their bundles are short to begin with because it was not true one square. Numbers don't lie, we say it a lot on the Roofing Insights, but because of that little shortage, now you need another bundle. You go to the store and you don't know if you're gonna get 20 or 22 pieces in it. And sometimes the one or two piece might be a deal breaker. So anyway, because manufacturers how like Malarkey, also Ica Dynasty, they are consistent. They always have the same. So Ica Dynasty have 20 pieces, but um, their uh, shingles actually bigger. It's a 42 inch, so it's bigger than Malarkey the same coverage it's about one square but they're also consistent every ica dynasty you're gonna buy you're gonna get 20 pieces every malarca bundle you're gonna buy you're gonna get 22 pieces where you know oc duration you never know we've seen oc durations with the 18 pieces in the bundle with the 19 pieces in the bundle all over the place so definitely some math problem but because of some manufacturer figured it out our ideal shingle want to have the same amount in all the bundles. I know it's a problem for a lot of other manufacturers, uh, but because of some manufacturers figure this problem out, they're getting five stars and the rest of them are getting four. We're in the middle of our comparison. We have five more tests to go over with you and to share our results, who makes the best shingle. But I wanna take a second and give huge shout out to all our sponsors who made this video possible. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a huge passion for roofing industry for this task. I absolutely love what I do, but it costs a lot of money. We have videographers, we have professional production, and I have to find a lot of time um, to put my research together. So despite the fact that those brands are we reviewing are billion dollar brands, and uh, they could easily sponsor our content. We can't just take their money. So I just wanna give huge shout out to all the companies who are in our network, help roofers become successful business owners, companies like Jab Nimbus, one of the best CRMs for roofing contractors, Company Cam, one app that absolutely every contractor needs to have. Contractor choice insurance, don't go uninsured. Insurance is super, super important. You need your liability, you need to work comp in place, and you wanna make sure the policy is written by someone who understands roofing risks and liabilities. Also Intensify, everybody needs good, solid financing options, whether you're the homeowner and you're looking to finance your project or you're the contractor who wants to offer uh, financing services to your customers. With Intensify, you don't have to be in business for long. You can literally start offering financing in the second day you open your LLC. If you need good, solid website, I want you to meet my friend Chris Linder and our friends at roofingbrand.com. If you need help with the Facebook marketing, check out our partner Adam Sand, also known as Canadian Bear and his company Roofing Business Partner. Also huge thank you to Primeline Tools, the best tool manufacturer for roofing projects. Also Leaf Solution, the best gutter guards to complement your roofing system. To all our sponsors, you guys are amazing. We wouldn't be here without you. We wouldn't be able to do all our resources if we would have to think how to pay for everything so thank you for supporting the channel making our roofing industry just a little bit better if you want to see a full list of all our partners we have way more companies that we highly recommend for your marketing needs just go to roofinginsights.com partners 
uh, we list all our uh, preferred partners, not only sponsors, but people who we recommend doing business with. Check it out. Now let's go back and finish five more categories and let's see who makes the best roofing shingle in 2020. Next category is online reputation. This one was a little bit tricky, but not as much. Uh, we, re we pretty much look online on all the reviews, feedback from the customers, feedback from contractors, and also do those companies that we list, do they listen to their feedback? For example, there's only two players uh, out of eight that we uh, reviewing today, only two of them enabled their Facebook reviews. I know how hard it is for the big brand to be open for the criticism because when you deal with the contractors and homeowners, a lot of times people are not fair when they are reviewing the products. And I know how hard it is, but because few of them did it, um, and those two are Pepco and uh, Atlas, because they opened that gate and they say, you know what, you can leave us a review on a Facebook. Now we know it's possible, it's doable. Now we know if two manufacturers are able to do it and they still maintain over four star rating on a Facebook. Now you six who didn't, we invite you. And if you want to have five star product, you also have to have five star rating online and you have to be open to receive that feedback, whether it's positive or negative. Because if I cannot go and have a conversation with you online, especially on the social media, you know, what are we talking about? You're going to hide from negative feedback don't hide, open the gate, and next year you'll have five stars. Also, we gave Malarkey. Malarkey. Malarkey doesn't have class action losses. Everybody else has, and some of them have a lot of them. Five star for online reputation for a simple reason. Uh, is because they never have class action lawsuit and uh, everything we find online about Malarkey, they don't have major issues with the claims. They don't have a claims, they pay them out. So they never have uh, class action. Of course they have problems, but they fix them pretty fast. So we pay attention to those and Malarkey also gets a uh, five star. But Malarkey, we do want you to enable your Facebook reviews. If you don't, next year you're gonna lose one star. So again, uh, Facebook rating is not the only rating we'll look at. Malarkey, we give you credit because every, everywhere else you look good, like Better Business Bureau, we look at the Google reviews, we even look at the local factories reviews because a lot of times those factories actually have Google listings and people leave f uh, feedback on those profiles. So we were very thorough with online reputation, a lot of reading, a lot of studying, a lot of search but we got it and only three companies are getting five stars. Uh, the worst one here, again, Tamco, a lot of complaints. Certainty Landmark got three uh, because a lot of complaints. So Certainty Landmark got three, Ico Dynasty got three. Again, it's based on amount of reviews and complaints where we're digging how many people are sharing negative experience with the companies, how many people are willingly sharing those reviews. Uh, on many, many websites. So we will be publishing a few more details about online reputation later, but we feel like we're very fair based on the information we provide. And maybe today in 2020, companies are a little bit better. So it's not reflecting what's happening in 2020, but in the last couple of years, ICO, CertainTeed, um, Tamco definitely have major issues with the customer service, with the claims and how they dealt with them, get, gave them three star on our comparison chart. Next one is Granny Loss, one of my favorite. Uh, the only one star review that we have here uh, goes to Ica Dynasty, actually affected them a lot, killed their rating. But to be honest with you, they perform very, very poor. We believe that all manufacturers should uh, figure out how to keep granules on the shingles. And some of them are doing an amazing job and some of them just slap it and they don't care you know, that our gutters and our grass become full. As a matter of fact, I have this very funny comment just uh, came today, I wanna read it. I'm not gonna mention the brand name. You can guess it and comment below which brand is that. Uh, my shingles are well loved by my chickens. Since the granule loss is so severe, they love to eat the tens of pounds of granules that end up on the ground and they're gizzards need that gravel. I would not use brand or in the future on a dog house or if they were free. 
So because of the granny laws, this homeowner uh, pretty much absolutely hates his roof. And a lot of roofers complain on a regular basis that not only it's super dangerous, but then you have to clean. And it just, the whole, it, it's a problem nobody needs. And because some manufacturers are figured it out and do an amazing job and earn our five-star rating, we have to give Ico one-star rating because how much granules Ico Cambridge is losing in this test. So Landmark getting three stars, Pepco Premier got three stars, uh, BP did pretty well, five, uh, Temco Heritage did five, OC Duration did five, so those brands, um, they keep their granules on the shingles pretty well, and this is initial quality. But we believe if a shingle have ma major problem with the granule loss in the beginning, most likely in a lifetime it's also gonna be the case. Next category we really wanted to review and compare our shingle manufacturers is their programs with the contractors. Super, super important. We see some manufacturers are doing an amazing job there when I educate contractors, um, sign him up with the resources. They're very active online. They're doing webinars, especially right now, COVID-19 time came in. Some manufacturers immediately cancel their rebate programs, their um, discounts. They do... Uh, like some other stuff and some manufacturers are stepping in spending money make sure they educate make sure they collaborate and they doing events and stuff like that so very very important um, I want to highlight a few companies here OC, Owings Cornick have always been putting huge amount of uh, money and effort in um, contractor education companies like Certainty also takes their contractors and roofers education to the next level. You know, Malark is doing really well. We see uh, Ico is doing a lot of events per year. Um, you know, they're doing portals, they're doing, you know, Atlas, they're doing so many, not only events online, but events, you know, in person. They are also very active at different expos. You can always reach them for the support. And we wanna, you know, highlight those. Few other companies, they just don't care. They don't have even contractors programs. They don't have much materials to help us to market, to sell, you know, just doing less. Now, we have to rank them. We want manufacturers to engage and be best friend of a roofing contractor. Um, that's the only way we can lift the industry and install better roofs. Next category is a ceiling. That's the only category where we gave all the participants today uh, five stars. Now this was not even performance uh, because uh, visually we could see that some ceilings are thicker. Uh, we actually did test twice. We did it first in the warehouse. We seal uh, without exposure to the sun obviously. We um, <clears throat> we raised our temperature to 80 degrees and within first two days nothing actually sealed. Only one brand actually sealed. Not going to even mention them. But then in the very next day we rolled it outside. It was about 60 degrees and uh, within 24 hours sh all eight shingles were completely sealed now we because of all of that we can't speculate that you know we could measure the sealants uh, we could see the difference but we could not speculate the performance whether it's in a warehouse or outside we could see that some of them were sealing a little bit faster than others but they're they all sealed we didn't see the problem with any one of the um, shingle that we're testing so that's the only category that every single one of them got five stars so good job for all manufacturers hopefully in the next couple of years we'll have more fives throughout the entire board and the last category today is a warranty we're gonna actually do um, a separate video on the roofing warranties because we see the conflict between warranty it's a legal language and actual performance of the shingle and legal warranties have legal part warranties obviously uh, are written for liability of the brands we did not feel that it's fair to uh, talk about shingle performance and warranty but we also could not just completely ignore it so we'll make video with our attorney reviewing all the warranties it's going to be a completely separate video so what this rating stands for it's my personal opinion uh, no more than that. Uh, it's me reading. I'm a historian. I love read. I love find. I love that fine print. I like to do my study. So this the category I actually spend the most time on. So I reviewed class actions. 
I reviewed failures in the last five years. I also have reviewed all the exclusions and all the BS that I personally hate. So, and I also reviewed the feedback from the contractors and uh, review the claims where, you know, when cl claim takes place, what our manufacturers are doing to walk away from that claim, not to pay uh, for the failure of the product. A lot of times, like we mentioned earlier, it's a, uh, you know, failure to install. So for those reasons, you know, you have to read your warranty very, very carefully, but uh, we gave a few five stars. I gave uh, Pepco NBP threes and Tamco Heritage threes. We have Ica Dynasty 4. Ica Dynasty improved their warranty a lot. Their warranty was one of the worst in the industry. Today they have five stars, uh, four stars, and OC, Malarkey, Certainty, Atlas, all are getting five stars for their warranty. It doesn't mean they're perfect, but they're better than others. They have less exceptions, less exclusions. And again, this is just my opinion. Uh, after spending probably like 50 hours reading all of the fine print of all manufacturers. I know what to look for, but I also know the failure rate and I also know performance on the brand, of the brands. For example, sometimes manufacturer will have exclusion in writing, but in reality, they never use it. They actually cover those claims all the time. Why? because that's kind of the, uh, of the brand they are. So you don't always want to look just at the fine print. You also want to ask maybe opinion of the roofer, how is it in the real life? So uh, I'm your insider. I know what I'm talking about. I know what, what word on the street is. I know my roofers. I talk to hundreds of roofers every year. I know when someone's have a claim or headache, he shared that experience with me and I share it privately via YouTube with you. After all of that, after we broke it all of down, and again, if you guys want more information about it on our website, we're actually gonna publish our research per category. So if you are one of those geeks who needs to know exactly how we arrive at the conclusion, we'll share it publicly as well later. But right now we have OC duration arrives at 4.6 stars, uh, Temco Heritage, 3.7 stars, Ica Dynasty 4.3 stars, Malarkey Highlander, Highlander, the highest score in our chart today, 4.7 stars, um, Landmark 4.2 by Certain Teeth, Atlas Pinnacle receives 4.6 stars, Pepco Premier 4.1 stars, and BP Vanguard 4.0 four stars even. So here the, here's the final place. So the highest rated shingle in our chart today for 2020, it's Malarkey Highlander. Absolutely amazing shingle, performed really well in most categories, didn't have big holes, didn't have big issues. Obviously have few four points, but overall didn't get threes, twos, nones. 4.7 stars, the highest score for 2020. Uh, we've been reviewing shingles for the last three years and um, Malarkey Shingle always been at the top. Uh, they've been second, they've been first, but they've been very consistent with our product. We believe that they are the closest shingle to the five-star shingle that Roofers wants to install. Second place today is split between OC Duration and Atlas Pinnacle, 4.6. To be honest with you guys, we've tried different ranking system, but no matter what we did, uh, the results always were very, very similar. Uh, we tried Olympic system, we tried to rank them from one to eight. Uh, no matter how you look at it, uh, for the last couple of years, the numbers were pretty consistent. And today, um, you know, OC Duration and Atlas Pinnacle also top three, like they did last year. 4.6 stars for both brands. Fourth place, Ica Dynasty. It's the first year we are reviewing Ica Dynasty. Uh, last year it was Cambridge. We actually agreed with other manufacturers that Ica Dynasty should be in this test. Um, there are few products that we wanted to review originally, not by Ica, but like Malarkey, for example, we wanted to bring Vista and some other manufacturers were saying, no, Vista should not be in this test as class three shingle it's not your regular shingle it's not apple to apple so ica dynasty is the first time in our test it's the biggest comeback for ico as a brand because last year they were all the way down so today they're in the fourth place with the 4.3 stars congrats to ico but you still have a lot of work to do especially with that granny loss um Fifth place, it's a 4.2 stars, certainty in landmark, very heavy shingle, very consistent, 
personally one of my favorite brands because how consistent the brand is they have a lot of fans a lot of guys love to install certain shingles and shingle overall is very very good the next one is papco premier thank you papco for sending your shingles to us again this year same with the bp 4.1 star goes to papco not available on our market uh, not available in many places but where it's available that's our rating for it bp vanguard uh, canada-based product four stars and the lowest one is a temco heritage 3.7 so you guys see the gaps between first place and last place it's about one star 3.7 to 4.7 what i have to say about uh, temco heritage what we've seen is actually reflects in our chart pretty well temco has a lot of holes we have very poor nailing zone it's builder's grade shingle it's cheaper than a lot of other shingles on our list so it's not a bad product per se but it's definitely economy grade builder's grade product also not very strong brand and not very contractor friendly if saving money is the most important thing for you tamco is not a bad option again 3.7 stars for me personal what i think about the entire rating i mean if you have class a personality you always want to go to highest uh, rated hotels or even the best restaurants you're always going to go for you know 4.7 4.6 but guess what if you're hungry and everything close can you eat at 4.2 star restaurant or even 3.7 i don't know i have to be very hungry to go to that place but our job here at roofing insights to educate you and to show you the difference between different products i'm very happy with our new renting system i want to hear your opinion please comment below about any of our tasks that you don't agree with or if you agree give us some love smash the subscribe button support us any way you can because we're here doing this work for you if you are the homeowner looking for the contractor we have amazing directory to connect you with the best of the best if you're the contractor and need any help not only about the products but marketing anything for your business we're also here for you just reach out we we'll always read our comments we we'll reply and come back to you as soon as we can i'll see you guys in the next video enjoy let me know what you think